don't know why I keep trying to use the buttons on the left whenever I'm doing a replay. Anyways, this is round two. It was against Tamir Drakes. And this was the first match of the tournament where I figured out I was woefully underprepared for uh, the standard format. Why might I have been woefully underprepared? Because for as much of the Drake deck I have played on Arena, I haven't really played it post board. And while the Tamir Drake deck is a little bit slower than Drake's are, still having the opportunity to learn how to board with it or board against it would have been pretty good for me. This was also, believe it or not, the first matchup where I found out that I have a tough, tough matchup with niv at Pear Rune. My opponent is trying to lava coil my own niv -Mizzet, and I am trying to deal as much damage as I possibly can. And I go ahead and try to copy it with the expansion side of Expansion Explosion. But we end up trading our niv which is just fine by me. I don't know why I went with the Wilderness Reclamation Search for Ascanta play there. Maybe I just don't respect Terramender. Uh... Maybe casting Star of Extinction was the better play there. <coughs> I should have just let that Hydra Crassus resolve and spear it anyway, or star it. 20 damage is a lot of damage. And I've got the Ascanta and uh, Land on Tabs working. Getting multiple activations a turn, which is just super great.
All right, so here I was panicking because I thought this crackling drake was just going to beat me. And I ended up going on Facebook. I was doing a live um, uh, thread about how the MCQ was going online. And while I was tapping things down, I was looking at the left side of my screen and looking at the amount of colored mana symbols go up. And I'm like, oh, wait, I think I can win this game. And waste a whole bunch of time paying for mana for the exp the explosion side of expansion explosion, and realizing that I don't have enough blue mana left over to comfortably counter stuff, so I had to wait for the last or for the next uh, wilderness reclamation trigger to resolve, so I can have a full untap. And then I still end up getting them for 25. Alright, let's look at the second game. This one goes to three. Uh, let me make sure that this is... Yeah. <coughs> I think I just... Uh, I sideboarded wrong, firstly. I believe Karn... Uh, doesn't really need to be in the sideboard against the Drake stacks. I believe they were also super explosive with their gross spirals this game. I think they cast three in the first couple of turns, and for some reason I don't just negate that one. I was like, oh, I'd rather opt. Look at all this mana I have in my hand that I can't actually catch up to them with. Yeah, there's the third gross spiral on turn four. So it's like they, they, they've tronned me. They've got all this mana. But only two cards in hand. Oh, yeah, got my star spell pierced, and I'm pretty sure I just lose to Niv Mizzet shortly thereafter. Like, uh, star is good, but if you're not uh, running it through Besiege, who, sh who shelters all, there's, you know, the chance of it getting countered. And that's not great for your board. So yeah, I get ran over by Div Mizzet this game, and I'm like, oh man, this is not great. Just making sure that pops up. It does. And we even mulligan this game, too. I'm just like, ugh. The deck's just not cooperating much with me in the early game. I'm missing lands. Of course, my opponent's missing lands, too, and they're not really putting a whole bunch of pressure on me. 
with the Terra Bender. But they had two early spell appearances, and I'm like, all right, sweet. Slam down the Wilderness Reclamation. We basically get back into this game because of Search for Ascanta. So many spell pierces this game. I was feeling pretty salty. I don't know why I kept negates. Because crackling deck's a pretty big threat and I needed to find lava coil for it. Eh, I guess I ended up deciding to explode it. Which, if you're terrified of something like Niv Mizzet, exploding it doesn't seem like the best possible play. After going through three spell pierces, I had a pretty good feeling that, did, that they didn't have the fourth. So I jumped at the opportunity to starve Extinction that turn. It was it was a super greedy play. I could have starred the turn before uh, to keep them off Ral's Eric. Well, Ral is it Viceroy since it's not the same card. But the character is the same. <laughs> So the threat of pairs are over. I've I've destroyed multiple ones. I don't know why I negate that. Like we've got the we've got the the replacement reclamation in hand. And of course I'm not transforming the search because it does no good. <laughs> I 
Alright, and that's the end of round two, after I pick up another win. I have round three, which I believe is after round two.